I can't look straight up, so this this is this is gonna require some effort. Or we're all waiting, patience really. Okay, just uh holding on. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it didn't go in my crosshair. Son of a bitch! Yeah, because I could use the the sea moth to ferry stuff back and forth between the cyclops, which would be way faster than trying to ferry stuff between here and the prawn, or with the prawn rather. I mean, at some point I need to grab my I need to bring my prawn over there, anyways. But I want to walk back and forth between the uh, the area if I can avoid it. Hey, go shoot. Gold. <laughs> lots and lots of gold. All right. So I basically should carry as much as my inventory will allow me to here. So we can go down for another round. See if I can find some more magnetite. I really want to get more magnetite silver before we head back. Because we're running low on those. Gold, I should be good on now. <laughs> we should be really good on gold. Is any silver in here for silver deposits? It looks like this place is just gold and magnetite in terms of ore. Why? No! Not two snake things at once! Ah! You're damaging my ship! Uh oh. That's right, they didn't do that much damage. I guess I did kind of aggressively go into their own territory pretty quickly. Here's the gold we saw from before. Fuck it. It's at the bottom of the area. Wait. Do you hear that? <gasps> oh, hey! There's a geyser down here, but also... Some stuff that we can loot. Will this damage the prawn? I don't think it should. Because the Seamoth, yeah, the Seamoth didn't get damaged by the geysers beforehand, so... Uh, from what we've been experiencing... Anything that the Seamoth could handle... The Prawn could do a much better job at handling. Giant monsters eating my face? Yeah, Prawn's got it handled. Most extreme overkill level of gold you possibly can have. It's good. We've reached the point in the survival game where all the materials that we had to find one by one, we can now just get a shitload of at once. As long as I know where to look. So we need to keep an eye out and do a little bit of a better job kind of categorizing where we saw stuff. Because I've passed by, you know, silver ore and titanium, or titanium and silver drill sites. But I didn't remember where they were, because I'm just like, yeah, they'll be everywhere. But I was wrong. They are not everywhere. Or at least I haven't found them yet. I'm sure there'll be, uh, areas in the deeps that will give us tons of resources for some of the basic stuff. Cause you always gotta have titanium, you know? 
Ah, here's the one I was looking for. It was this specific one that we saw with my uh, my scanner room cameras. Oh boy. <laughs> if my storage fills up, I'm gonna have to get out. Next to all these snake monsters. If only I could access my vehicle inventory from inside the vehicle itself. You know, just have like a tab here. Vehicle storage. Oh, we still have a little bit more magnetite I can get. There we go. Alright, I think that's about all we're gonna be able to, to carry on our trip back with the Seamoth. Swing! Am I going the right way? I think so. Oh! There's another Magnetite. Uh... <sighs> I want to go for it. Fuck it, I guess. I just know we're gonna have to do a lot of uh, we're gonna do a lot of back and forth. But I guess to be fair, we're gonna have to do a lot of back and forth anyways, because I'm gonna leave my prawn over here, use the sea to drop off all my shit, and then use the sea to go back to get my prawn. So, fuck it. Might as well get a lot of supplies to bring on the second return trip. But yeah, this is where lockers would, would have come in handy if I had left some back at that base. Because then I could just grab all of these resources and just store them at the habitat. Because I don't need to have everything on the Cyclops at all times. It's just more convenient if I don't have to go, like, 700 meters just to get resources. Okay, we found way more magnetite on this... this drop-down. I guess... we went a little bit further in than last time, actually. So maybe the magnetite I found wasn't the one I thought it was. Because the entrance is, like, over here. Think this is the entrance we used? It doesn't matter. A, a hole to the surface is a hole to the surface. Yeah, here we go. It just took a while to render the giant, like, glow of light. Maybe I should drop all of the flares I have sitting in my Cyclops around the Blood Kelp Zone. Be a lot easier to see stuff. Even if it's kind of ugly, I really don't like the looks of the flare. It's kind of like just going full bright on everything. Woo! Speed run, man. Holy shit. Welcome aboard, Captain. N no. Damn it, I was hoping to catch the biter in that. Will my Seamoth get stuck in stasis? Holy shit, it actually does! Okay, we gotta be careful about that. My own stuff can get stuck in the stasis bubbles. Because I don't get stuck in the stasis bubbles. I can freely float around in them for whatever reason. Okay. I guess there's not really a point for me to grab this stuff. Since I'm gonna be grabbing my Seamoth and heading back. We got enough gold this on this run that we don't have to really about, worry about it too much. The only thing I kind of really would like to get another batch of is silver? I know where I think I saw silver before. It would be by, uh, LifePod13. Whoops. Alright. 
Once we gather all of this, like, gold and silver, and just are generally set for our more advanced materials, I think we'll head over to the Treader Zone. Or we'll explore this area a little bit more. There are huge cave things down here. You know, where all the amples are. <laughs> So there might be some pretty big resources that, that I would like to get. And there's also still some uranite that I would like to get here as well. Ruby would also be good. Why does it have to do that every single time we come down here? Is there something I'm missing? There's like a, a spooky sting, and then I have to sit here like, why? Is there an alien facility around here that I'm missing? Uh-oh, there we go. Well, hey, it glitched out for a second there. Yeah, I don't think the game likes the amount of inventory things I've got chilling around here. It seems to be doing that pretty often, where I, I try to open up a locker and it just goes, Eh, uh, maybe I'll do it, I don't know. Maybe it's just the soundtrack for this era. They're like, alright, you've entered the blood kelp zone, and now we're gonna make shit really fucking creepy. Well, you've done a good job. You've done a good job of that. Okay. My little Seamoth, I need you. Let me get this before I forget it. That would be kind of bad. I mean, it's not really, like, intensely useful for later, considering how big everything is starting to get. But, it could still be useful for, you know, shits falling around the area, or I wanna just- Oh, hey look, there's like 15 pieces of uranite on the, the cliffside wall. Let's just attract all of it with the grav trap, rather than having to go around one by one. That'd be nice. We're fucking good at gold. I, I don't think we'll ever need to get more gold. I would have to be very aggressive with my usage. Of just like I don't even know. I mean, just everything that uses gold. And even then I don't think like with power transmitters and stuff like that, I don't think we'll run out. Have some silver. Actually, you know what? I'll make a, a wiring kit. Might as well. Okay. I figure I might as well use, or refill up the power cells here. Since we're going to have to go on another run out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay. And you can have these. I want to have, like, super advanced, uh, power cell things. <laughs> Just never have to worry about making three separate power cell storage things. No, just make one, and it's just really huge and requires a ton of resources. Like, its efficiency isn't as good as just making three separate things, but I accept that for convenience. Okay, I think we're- we might have more magnetite than this can contain? No, we're fine, we're fine.
Lithium and lead. Okay. I wish the, I wish I could put signs on these. I can put signs above them, but I want to put signs directly on the lockers so that way they're a little bit easier to read. I'm surprised they bothered doing like wall lockers that you can have names on, but you you can't do it with the main the big giant lockers which would contain way more stuff than them. Same thing with the the lockers down here. They have <laughs> they have the slots for it, but you can't name them. That doesn't make sense. Oh well. Let's skedaddle. We're gonna grab our prawn. Oh wait, what is this? Copper ore. Okay. I was hoping it'd be something else, but copper's good. Copper's good. We're about to be using a bunch of it anyway, so... Hopefully I remember that on our way back. But I'm basically, I'm gonna go grab my Man of Steel. And then head out to Life Pod 13. See if I can find some silver. I think one silver ore should do it. But if I find two, I'm gonna try and grab all that. I want to see something. <laughs> I want to see if I can make my prawn float by sticking a bunch of floaters on it. Nope. That didn't work. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, bye! <laughs> I wanted to attach it on my sea moth. Oh, did it work? Oh shit, there you go! Let me get those off of there before they just float away. Ow! What the f- how'd that hurt me? <laughs> fine. Fine. I guess I can't put it on the prawn. <laughs> Jesus! Alright. I can put it on my Seamoth, so that's nice. The fact that I can't put it on the bronze guy at this point, it's the thing that needs to be able to float the most. <laughs> you gotta fling yourself, you know? Yeah, there <laughs> you go. That's some good speed. Who needs a Seamoth? Not I! <laughs> Although, sometimes it's still nice. The speed in our... well... I was gonna also say, like, the, the speed and wind in our hair, but we're underwater, so there's no wind. <laughs> Not passing over me, at least. Ah, yes. My favorite part of Subnautica. The dread. <laughs> when you can't see anything as you descend. Alright. No, 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 no. Here we have ourselves a big old trench system. So if you could get me some silver- oh hey, we found the arch. Again. Can you activate on your own? I want to see what's on the other side. Uh. I should put habitats, like, near every single one. That'd be kind of convenient. So anytime I end up, uh, teleporting to one of these, I'll still be a little bit more prepared. What is this? Moon pool fragment. Meh. Let's 
my inventory like, oh, I need to take all of this. I should have just take, taken all of those on my first run through this area, but I figured that i just try and get a little bit of silver, and that's really my- that's all- that's it. That's my goal. I could have sworn there were silver... drill spots around here. I thought we were just going for, like, the individual tiny ones. But if I could save some time, you know, I'm down for that. That's another salt deposit. <laughs> salt is the one thing I don't need. It doesn't show up in enough recipes to, like, warn me doing that. I had to force myself to make bleach. <laughs> and it's, it's, I could just get rid of a lot of it. And that ended up not even being necessary because, again, I ended up needing, uh... The, the water filtration station has given me so much. Oh, that's an egg. I want to see something. We're gonna head into the deeper waters. The spooky other area over here with the Leviathan. Maybe I'll find some more obvious drill spots. Huh? Huh? Ah? Titanium? Man, titanium. What is this? Time capsule? Oh shit. What is this? Gonna miss this delicacy. Really got a taste for the bulbul trees here. Got kind of a coconut texture to it on the inside. Wish they had this stuff back home. Whoever finds this, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Huh. He gave me a bulbul tree sample! Well, that's good. I actually was considering going back for one of those. Alright. Do I get to keep that forever? It's just gonna be down here, I guess. Time capsules! Cool! We heard about the time capsules with the... With our ship. So I guess other people escaped. I think that's more titanium. I'd like to not go too far down, but I'm still curious. Warper. <laughs> hey, warpers. Dude, they fucking hone, on, hone in on me so quickly, it's ridiculous. I wonder how bad of an idea it would be to build near a reaper. Also, I saw the one that's above us right now. I'm just trying to see what's in the caves. Give me silver or give me death. Actually, don't give me death at all. I mean, I'll take some rubies. Okay. So... That gasopod's in the worst possible area it could be. Damn it! <laughs> I'm trying to get over this edge before the Leviathan comes back. Son of a fuck. Build momentum in my own ways. Oh shit! 
what? All right. No place is safe. The Leviathan just went through the ground. <laughs> wow. These massive amounts of fish that are blocking my line of sight are going to get me killed. I mean, I'm going to get myself killed for fucking coming out here. But I was hoping that because of how, how like, little overall vegetation is in the area, it'd be a lot easier to find ore. And to an extent it is, it just ended up being the one I needed. Here we go. Alright, fucking dead in between two reapers, but I want my silver. My body is ready. If a reaper grabs onto my prawn, I accept my fate. If I see a shadow just approach from above, <laughs> you know we're dead. So this region did end up actually being pretty good for... for resources. I told you, you know, that even though we, we'll be heading further and further into places, they gotta give us other stuff, titanium, silver, gold. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I don't- I'm not going on a hunt for anything else. I'm leaving. If I find a silver ore thing on the way out, good, I'll go for it. But I'm not staying here. I don't know where the final reaper is. I wish I could turn on my flashlight on this thing. Because it's one of those scenarios where, like, the light from my prawn is somewhat affecting my ability to see. Because I'm trying to peer into the darkness, into the dark fog. And then I got this bright fucking light ruining my, my night vision. If I needed titanium, I could have had like 30 to 40 from this one area. My god. Okay. We're going back to my Cyclops. We got... We got silver. We got enough silver to make whatever it is we're gonna need for the immediate future. No! No! Don't get stuck! This is the perfect place for the grappling hook! Not the perfect place for the prawn. <laughs> it's so awkward! You're just this... big chunk of metal. So I try to like swing between the vines of these mushroom trees and then whoops the my foot got stuck and all my momentum's gone Oop, ah, There we go. I, I had so much momentum and it's gone. All right, let's just let's just chill here Whoop Okay, I guess I'm falling Your jet charges pretty quickly as long as your feet are on the ground the problem is with how much I try to grapple, I end up not having my feet on the ground quite often. Ooh, yeah. That was a good one. Alright. And then the sudden sheer fucking cliff to climb. <laughs> to ruin all the fun of, of our momentum. <sighs> it 
It's nice and serene out here. You know, when you're not being attacked by giant critters or keeping an ear out for said giant critters. With that said, I think we're going to be going into the the treader area again. So, uh, if there ends up being a bunch of Reaper Leviathans in that area, whew, good luck. Good luck, guys. I should also probably gather gas at some point for the gas torpedoes, but I don't know how effective the torpedoes are. In our attempts to kill things, uh, we might be better off just running away from most scenarios. Or just not attracting attention to ourselves. That's the best way to to avoid trouble, right? Can't get killed if the monster doesn't even know you're there. I need a jet upgrade. I think I could actually make it. Because I think it required polyan- uh, po polyanine? Which we have access to now. Oh boy. Down to the dock below. All right, we're gonna we're starting to gather some things. There's a copper deposit that I want. First, let me drop off all the shit that I have. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay. So what do I got? A bunch of gold, ruby. Well, I got one ruby. That's not really a lot. Shoot. I have too much gold. A problem I didn't think I was going to have. I do have too much magnetite for this. <laughs> it was just left in the prod. <gasps> Shoot! Alright, hold on now. We're gonna have to make some more lockers. Because this is, this is getting ridiculous. We're gonna need secondary lockers for these resources. I'm sorry, front of my ship. I didn't want to sully you. But I have to. <laughs> Hope I don't need a fire extinguisher again. <laughs> okay. That'll be slightly inconvenient to reach, but we'll be alright, whatever. What? I can put the locker on top of the ladder. That's funny. I don't want to do that, though. I want to put it here, behind the ladder, to an area that I can't ever reach, because that'd be locked. I mean, you know, not physically, because I'd have to reach over a ladder to reach into the locker, but whatever. Some of the areas that you can put shit just doesn't make sense. Like, I can't put a locker here. But I could probably put a locker, like, here. Or I could do that. I don't like too much stuff just being away from the wall. Not that we have too much of an option sometimes. Like, you could totally fit another locker right here if you could actually squeeze them in between stuff. Oh, well. Maybe I should put the gold in here, actually. Right next to its original locker location. That would make more sense. Damn it. I kept accessing the wrong one. Okay. Uh, 
magnetite could go over here. And then we're just gonna just stick whatever the hell in here. Whoops. I keep accessing this locker when I tr click on this one, it's annoying. What the hell? Alright, let's get the rest of my stuff. At least with the prawn. Because it's only got so much space, it's a little bit easier to gather everything. Versus the sea moth, which if you upgrade it way too much, you gotta make a bunch of trips. Alright. <laughs> I was trying not to slide down. Now, if this could give me like 50 copper, bueno, would be fantastic. Would be pretty good. But no, it's probably just gonna give me like 10. I feel like this is weird. What's going on there? There we go. <laughs> the top part of the the ore was just floating there. Usually we work our way from the top down. All right. Now where's the power cell on this thing? Oh, there are two power cells. Oh, Jesus. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get those charged up, too. I just don't want this thing to, like, go in there and just take up all of the energy from, uh, the Cyclops. Okay. We should be good. We should be good to go now. I've got tons of copper, tons of silver, tons of gold, tons of magnetite, lith lithium, lead, uh, titanium, <laughs> overkill at this point. Is there anything I could make with this? Not really. I need a vehicle modification bay, which unfortunately means I need to make another moon pool. So. We'll probably make a moon pool when we reach the treader zone, or wherever. There's gotta be a place that I can put a bunch of habitat stuff. And feel comfortable doing it. There doesn't feel like there's anything really here besides the uranium. Or the uranite, rather. How much of that do I even have? I don't remember where I put it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mmm. Alright, we're actually gonna spend a little bit more time here than... <laughs> than I thought. I need more uranite. You know what? Here's something we're gonna do. We're gonna swap all the gold in here for silver. So rather than having a gold and silver, we just have silver. I feel like that's a good trade-off. I can see a little bit more readily how much silver I have. I thought I had a little bit more. Oh well. We know where to hunt for things now. Whoops. In the dangerous waters near Leviathans. Whoops. Let me put this back. Okay. Power's everything. Power cells, all these are charged. Let me put those into my Cyclops. We're missing us a, a power cell. I should have an extra power cell just sitting around somewhere. Maybe it would be in my crafted area? Those are batteries, which I could craft into a power cell. Here we go. There. Our Cyclops is fully charged once more. And we're not gonna go anywhere. 
but I'm glad, I'm glad we got that set up. All right. All right, in space. All right. I thought, okay, the sound of this closing spooked me. I thought we were about to deal with some serious trouble. Well, I actually have to uh, go, so we're actually going to take a bit of a break, and when we get back, we're going to look around this area, grab some uranite, maybe discover if there's anything else here. There could be an alien arch, there could be an alien facility, there could be a random life pod or anything, really, here. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we'll head off to the Treader Zone, where I think we'll probably establish another habitat, if it's a good enough place. We'll see, though. For now, though, be right back. <laughs> 